Vaughn sustained his brain injury and I knew I needed to take things one day at a time. Whenever there were family members who were lying to the public to gain sympathy, to gain financially, and to gain the support that I had gained. When APS was investigating me, when CPS was investigating me, when the police department of two different cities were investigating me, I knew that I needed to take things one day at a time. And it's even more important for me, now that my husband has passed, to think about raising little girls without a father. I can't teach Raza how to be a man. I'm not a man. I'll never be a man. I'm not equipped to handle that type of task. When all of it gets overwhelming, I just remember to take things one day at a time. Today, my children are happy. They're doing their education. They're homeschooled. They're in a safe environment. They're eating great food. I just came back from getting some more spring water. I just try to verbally or mentally think about all of the things that I can be grateful for, all of my blessings. With Vaughn's life being cut so short at 30 years of age, it helps me to appreciate life even more. I have my children who are alive, I have my dogs, I have my family, I have an incredible support system, I have all the things that I need to live a successful and peaceful and happy family life. Two things can exist at one time. I can be really sad for the loss of my husband, but also really freaking grateful for everything that I do have. And I always try to let this one trump more than this one. But when this one feels heavy and I need to let it flow, I let it go. I'm saying all this, hopefully, show anyone who is grieving out there that it is can be so overwhelming we know that that's established what it can also be is you taking things one day at a time so that you are not trying to figure out how to solve all your life problems in one day stop don't do that we're going to get through this one day at a time and we're going to teach our children and the people around us. Grieving doesn't have to fit a certain type of mold. And although things will be hard, there are always ways to cope with it. And I hope that you find your ways. I hope by me sharing my example, it helps you to cope a little more.